Hey guys, welcome back. So, in this one we're checking out three planes, not just one. So it was like last night or this morning, I did get a comment asking what the difference was between the the different Griffin Spitfires, like what sets the Mark 14E apart from both of the C fires. So that's what we're uh that's what we're talking about today and flying three planes including the Mark 14 that I flew yesterday. So starting things off with the C fire Mark 17. So as you can see we uh we have the cool rudder here and that's actually also the tail hook and i did get a uh a carrier takeoff there which i haven't gotten to do on this map before so i i don't know we're probably going up against japan which is kind of unfortunate but oh well anyways so starting things off with the Mark 17, it is a naval plane, so it is going to have a little extra weight just from reinforced landing gear and tail hook and other equipment that comes along with naval planes. So that's just to start off. This is more comparable to the Mark 14E, but it has a four blade prop and the engine is optimized for lower altitudes so I you guys have already seen the stat card on screen but as you can see it the optimal altitude is like 3800 meters according to the stat card so that's something to keep in mind it's kind of like flying a an F or an LF mark 9 as far as that goes, but with a more powerful Griffin engine. And that, that does make it fun to play, except for when you get some space climbers in a match, and that, that's always just quite unfortunate there. And what I said in the last video about the Griffins pretty much making all of their power with WEP. That has been across the board for all of the Griffins that I have flown and all of the all of the Griffins that we're taking a look at today. So that is of course the Mark 14, the Seafire Mark 17, and one of the coolest looking planes in the game, the FR-47, which is also a Seafire. So it looks like we're coming on an A7M right here, another A7M. I think we're going to go towards this one since he's a little lower, and there's a Ki-84 over in that direction as well. But, I'm probably going to do more of like boom and zoom on this guy and hope that he doesn't okay I at least got a hit now armament on this plane is okay that was anticlimactic but we're not doing another game in it uh, as far as armament goes you have four 7.7s in the wing and two hispano 20 millimeters so let's hop over to the Mark 14E. So here we are in the Mark 14E. And if you guys want a more in-depth look at this plane, uh, you can just check my my videos. Uh, I just, I mean, I just made a video on it yesterday. So it's kind of why I'm. Okay, kind of why I'm uh, more comfortable taking a look at it, at it again is because it's still fresh on the mind. 
and I, I played all of the other ones last night too, so. With the Mark 14, you know, like I said, it's kind of in that really weird spot, like performance wise, between a P51 and a Merlin. So just kind of keep that in mind, and it is also better at higher altitudes, so you are going to kind of want to wait to... Oh, no. Okay. Could be worse. But you are going to want to wait to... Oh, my gosh. Come on. Stay as high as you can for as long as you can. Because that's where this plane does the best. I think he's going too fast. Tall 152 might be a little, a little concerning right there, so we're going to dive on the Yak-15. Or not. Another 3U coming in. Looks like he's just going to try and get on me. Ooh. That made me sick. Where's the tall 152? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Honestly, could be worse. We're going to try and go back to base right here, but I, don't, I have a feeling that's not going to work out real well. Because there's at, at least a uh, a 3U. Yep, okay. He's right there. <laughs> but as far as the airframe on the uh, the Mark 14, it's the same as as all of the Merlins previously. And we did lose um, some performance here. Lost an aileron. So, it turning performance is similar to the, sp the spits before it. And like I said, if you guys want to see some better clips <laughs> I I would highly recommend checking out that previous video I'm just gonna turn on web I don't know why I'm doing this right now because I'm totally gonna yep get third party but let's move on alrighty guys we are in the Seafire FR 47 and the reason that I am uh, Starting this match a little earlier is because I got absolutely dogged on by a Yak-3U in the last match. So, this is the heaviest and the largest. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the wingspan is bigger than the other two. But, the heaviest one that we're looking at today. So, as far as armament goes, you have four Hispanos. And you only have 496 rounds, which, once again, thank you to Gaijin for fixing real shatter because, oh my god, it's it's way better now. So, I mean, I played it before the crappy real shatter was implemented, played it during crappy real shatter, and, and now the Hispanos are a little bit closer to what they were before all of the real shatter crap happened. So as you can see with the FR-47 we actually have contra rotating props right here. So I'm, it probably does give some more thrust and a little bit higher top speed but The prop makes it one of the coolest looking spits in the game, I think. Now, as far as my play style 
for the FR-47 goes, I'm playing it more like a P-51 than anything else. So doing a side climb and trying to keep my speed fairly high. And, you know, once again, it's making all of its power with WEP and kind of feels like a limp noodle without it. And that's still the case with the Seafire Mark 17, but not as much. So this plane, if you guys didn't know, is folded behind the the previous Seafire. And honestly, it's kind of sad that it is, because I would rather fly this than... Than that Seafire with a four-bladed prop. Who wants to fly that? I, although, it can be fun at times. I mean, really just depends. But this is by far the... Uh, also, that's who we're going for right there. This is by far the... The plane out of the three that I have the most matches in and most experience with so I mean it is extremely fast it still bleeds its speed like the mark 14 and it doesn't seem to accelerate as fast but that's usually not an issue I mean as you can see we're doing 760 kilometers an hour and we're not even having an issue right here so we're just gonna turn into this F2G And even though it is heavier, it still climbs fairly good. And, okay, come on. Nice. As you can see right there, you have something other than just landing flaps. You also have takeoff flaps, so... That's always nice, but... I guess we're going to wrap the video up there, guys, after getting uh, demolished by a tiger cat. So, thank you guys for watching. Discord link down below. And subscribe to the channel to stay updated. And we'll catch you guys on Tuesday.